Sometimes the best way to look for snakes isn't on foot. When you can pick the habitat, conditions and time of day, road cruising can be a pretty effective way to find a good amount of snakes. We knew this road had good potential for a few different species of larger lapids, so we spent the next couple of days cruising up and down it at the right time of day in hope that we'd come across some big venomous snakes. This is the first one that we managed to find and it's a pretty fast moving and agile snake. Oh yeah, snake on the road. It's a greater black whip snake. Probably the closest looking snake to a taipan you can get out here. I'm going to come around the other way. How's that? Another super, super quick snake. These, these could be the quickest snake in Australia. They are so, so fast. And he's, it's, oh, probably 11, a bit past 11, so he's gonna be warmed up. When he takes off, he's gone. Another snake that's diurnal, but in good conditions. You can find them out after dark. And they just move through this grassy habitat here, hunting small lizards. So they're using that speed. They are venomous, they're in a lapid, so they're using that venom as well to just hunt down small, small lizards. This is, this is a decent size one. They can get up around sort of five foot. So pretty, they can be a pretty substantial snake, but they're very slender. The whole Demantia or whip snake genus, they're all super slender and such, such a cool genus. They're awesome. We might, I might just encourage him off the road. We kept cruising the same road in the hopes that we'd eventually turn up another species of snake. It wasn't until the sun had set that we ran into another species of highly venomous rapid. Snake. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is a, a northern brown snake. Just been cruising this road for mulgas and coastal ties and saw a smaller snake on the road. And it turned out to be this guy. Lucky this is so open, otherwise we would have lost him straight away. So northern browns are a highly venomous species of a lapid. Obviously being a brown snake, uh, they're just renowned for being very, very toxic venom. Uh, not very high yield, but the actual potency is enough to do a lot of damage. To a, a rat or a mouse, it's absolutely no chance that thing's surviving from a bite. And a human, they're gonna be in absolutely all sorts. But you can really appreciate just how beautiful this individual is. His head's tiny, but his fangs would definitely still be able to puncture human skin. I still need to be careful, but brown snakes really S up. They can be put on quite a display. This guy is super chill. Even if I, if I just stay still, Look at that. And people reckon snakes chase them. Yeah, it just doesn't happen. Well, so he's probably out hunting. It looks like he's pretty thick in the body. These guys will be out both during the day and nocturnally. It sort of just depends on the conditions. So they'll make the most of whatever they can get. It's not even that warm of a night, to be honest. He's still out. Probably. Probably eight o'clock. 
about 35 degrees today. This is probably about high 20s now. Oh, it's just stunning. Wow. Well, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to get into with this guy, so we may let him go. It's only the second one I've seen. Might get some photos. And then Absolutely zero care factor for me at all. Don't even need the light. Wow. Enjoy your night, mate. Good luck on the hunt.